Hi, it's Warren Hewitt. I hope you're doing marvellously well. So I just want to do a quick video, um, just reiterating this. Creativity is king. Chiron is appearing now. Creativity is king. Um, why am I talking about it again? I'm talking about it again because even though it's something I mention a lot in videos, I really wanted to bring it to the forefront because I've been going back through videos and answering as many questions as I can. I get a huge amount of emails every day from all of you and I really appreciate it and I try my darndest to go through and answer as many as possible. I really appreciate the incredibly supportive and positive way that you communicate with me either in here in the messages or by email, or on my website, uh, which of course, please check out. <laughs> uh, that was a selfless plug, obviously. So the question I get asked most is, Warren, you say creativity is king, but you seem to have a lot of equipment. I do have a lot of equipment. I've been doing this over the last close on 30 years of making music now. Wow, I've been doing this since I was a teenager. In all this period that I've been making music, I have started with, you know, cassette to cassette recording, four track recording, um, ADATs, um, you know, pre-DAWs. I had at one stage an MSR 24, which is a one inch 24 track. I've had eight track cassettes. I've had every single thing you can think of, leading right up to, of course, using tape, and then after two inch tape, you know, having the ability to use DAW. So I've done it all. I've made records on every single interface you can imagine, whether it be an Avid one, an Apogee one, uh, a Lavery one, um, you name it. I've used pretty much every single piece of equipment and I love all of the equipment. I love all of these different guitars I have. I love consoles. I love two input or one input interfaces. The thing that always kind of comes together for me is creativity is king. Um, it really is, it's the most important thing. Think about the song and the performance before you think of anything else. The song and the performance, capturing a great performance of a great song is your number one goal here. I did a mixing course where I remixed a song that I mixed in a hybrid fashion completely in the box using some pretty generic plugins. And I spent a bit of time trying to beat the mix and I feel like I beat the mix. I really do. And I did it completely in the box. And I haven't moved entirely over there, but it's horses for courses. It's like, do you mix in a box? Do you mix through a console? Do you mix in a hybrid fashion? The point is, is that the results can be the same no matter how you work. So this wonderful world of YouTube, we get to share information between us. We get to go and watch videos by each of us and learn different tips and tricks, which I've been doing from tons of different people's videos. And I love that. And we share stuff. I watch some of the techniques I've taught being shared by other people and vice versa. It's a wonderful place. But remember, creativity is king. I have done more stuff recently using one mic pre and one microphone than anything else. And if you're mixing in a box and you've got an interface with one or two inputs, your results should be as good as anybody else's. When Andrew Sheps and guys like him are mixing entirely in the box, you know that you're onto a good thing. So remember, creativity is king. It's great to have all this equipment, but frankly, 90% of my life now is one mic pre, one mic, and a compressor. I like external compressors still. I like mic pre, compressor, nice mic. And as you've seen, we've looked at microphones by companies like Lewitt that are inexpensive. They do pencil condensers that I record acoustic guitars on. They do a mid-price uh, microphone, which I absolutely love. And then, of course, companies like Slate have their plugins. They have that microphone, the VMS, which is simulating $15,000 plus microphones. And I'm not plugging any of these particular manufacturers, but I'm literally telling you that the world is moving to this wonderful place this democratization of music, where all of us, for possibly hundreds, if not low thousands, will have access to exactly the same equipment and be able to make incredible music. There is nothing stopping us now, except for the need of maybe recording a live band, live in a huge room. Obviously, you can go to Sunset Sound, you can go to any of those incredible studios that I love and record a band live in a room and mic the room and get the ambience and all of that stuff. And it is a wonderful situation. But 99% of the music that you hear recorded, particularly on the radio, is done in very 
very humble and modest situations. I'm friends with many of those writers and producers, and they are bringing in laptops or using small home setups and making great sounding records. Not just the pure pop stuff, but the organic sounding stuff in the middle between programmed and organic elements is being made in very, very humble situations. So remember, and trust me, creativity is king. It's great to have all the gear, but I don't use it as much as I used to. I'm not in that environment anymore where I need to. And that is where all of us are moving. It doesn't matter who it is you're seeing, all these producers and engineers and mixers you've admired through the years, and they're all getting smaller and smaller systems. Many of them still love consoles and there's still a need for it, especially on your workflow. If your workflow is built around something, but you as an up and coming person, you can make great music with the simplest of systems. I get asked all the time, is it okay if I can use this inexpensive piece of equipment? Is this okay? Is that okay? And I come back with the same answer. Of course it is. Especially if that DAW, whether it be Reason, Studio One, Logic, you know, Pro Tools, Cubase, you name it. Doesn't matter what DAW you're using. If you know it really well, that's better than changing. If you know Reason and you've been using it for years, or you know Ableton and you know it really, really well, there is no reason to change DAW. It doesn't matter that you go to see a studio tour that I've done with a guy using Pro Tools HD or HDX. Yeah, so they have that, but it doesn't mean it's better. It just means that it's what they know and what they use. You do not have to change it because somebody else is using it. You can take what you have and just grow within it and push the boundaries and take the techniques that I and other people teach and use them and make great music. So once again, let's have a great discussion about it. Let's keep it positive and supportive. I love how positive and supportive you've been in the comments and the fact that you're helping each other out. But believe me, creativity is king, whether you're using expensive equipment, lots of it, or humble equipment. I've made great records in all kinds of environments with all kinds of equipment, and my friends have done the same thing, and my peers have done the same thing. So once again, creativity is king. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and I really appreciate all of you. You rock, and I'll speak to you all again soon.